And it's certainly terrible to hear of those other things. This was a, a devastating storm across uh, New England, some very significant flooding. Uh, to our north too. We are watching rivers across the state. The smaller ones starting to recede a bit. The Yantic River, originally it was, uh, we were dealing with major flooding, now showing moderate flooding and the waters continue to recede. Soon it will be below flood stage. Our larger rivers like the Housatonic and the Connecticut Rivers are still uh, rising. The Housatonic River forecast for some moderate flooding is holding steady right now in the moderate flood range. The Connecticut River at the middle Haddam gauge is expected to reach moderate flooding sometime time on Wednesday. Rain totals across the state were impressive. Over five inches of rain in Waterbury, just shy of five inches in Canaan. Heartland coming in at 4.2 inches, three and a half inches in Moodis, uh, just under that uh, in Moodis and that's not supposed to be Moodis twice, but Norwich coming in at 3.11 inches. So we saw some impressive wind gusts out there. Stamford 66, Storrs 62, Willimantic 61 miles an hour, Groton 59, Meriden 54, Danielson 51 miles per hour, and temperatures were unseasonably warm. We were between about 60 and 65 degrees as we began the day. So as expected, temperatures peaked early in the day. We smashed the record for the Hartford area by six degrees. Uh, the previous record was 58. In Bridgeport, we tied the old record of 61 hitting 61 today. So really an impressive storm all around. We're still dealing with the impacts from this and likely will be for the next 24 hours or so before things finally start to uh, recede and water levels will be back closer to normal. First alert live radar, the state's only live radar scanning the skies. We are dry. Not much to chat about anymore. Thankfully, there goes the storm system away from us, lifting up through New Brunswick, Canada. On the backside of the storm system, some snow showers out over the Great Lakes and getting squeezed out over the Appalachian Mountains. Nothing that's going to impact us here in Connecticut. In fact, we are quiet and dry. A live look at our ICAM over Hartford. Not much to chat about in the capital city right now, but those southwesterly winds helping keep temperatures up. 46 still in Hartford. A live look at our ICAM in uh, New Haven where it's 47 degrees. Again, southwesterly winds. That wind direction preventing temperatures from really dropping off too much tonight. We'll still end up in the 30s, recovering tomorrow into the mid 40s. We're expecting partly to mostly cloudy skies tomorrow, and we could see an isolated rain or snow shower. Here's first Lord future cast showing the clouds building back in tomorrow morning. A stray flurry or rain shower through the late morning into the early afternoon. That all clears out, and then we'll dry things out tomorrow afternoon and evening. By Wednesday morning, high pressure building in, so we have more of a northerly wind pulling in some chillier air for the middle of the week. And then on Thursday morning, we have this moisture-starved cold front that dives south, and behind that is where we really start to see temperatures drop back quite a bit. You'll notice that coincides with a big spike here on the static meter. Things feeling staticky as we approach the end of the work week. Temperatures dropping back down into the 30s. You may need uh, the chapstick a little bit more frequently as we get to the end of the week. Winter begins on Thursday. Temps in the 40s. Look at this. Plenty of sunshine Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Partly sunny. We're in the 40s. Christmas Eve on Sunday, mid 40s. Mostly sunny. Christmas Day on Monday. Mostly sunny highs in the mid, if not upper 40s. So great news for any travel you have around the holidays. Looks like it's going to be a rather calm and bright holiday season.